Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Rahul and welcome to episode 2 of The Editor. In this episode, we're going to be having a look at how to make clickable icons on your desktop. Alright, so um, let's start off with what is actually going on here. So what I am using to create these um, icons is a program called Rain Meter. Now I'll leave a link in where you can download it in the description. Downloading it is the same as downloading anything else. You just download it and then um, once you have it running and it's installed, uh, you'll get it in your taskbar and it'll be this kind of little rain droplet. And if you click it, you'll come and you'll be able to see this. Uh, whoops. Uh, you'll be able to see this and um, what's going on here? Uh, you'll be able to see this, sorry, I don't know what's happened there. And uh, it'll be pretty much exactly the same as this, however, you won't see this little um, thing which says icons. And uh, basically, within Rain Meter, it just gives extra customization to your desktop, and uh, you can use kind of widgets and stuff which you down download offline, and you can get things like a clock, a music player, and all that cool stuff. But today, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom icons. Now, to start off, what you want to do is go into Photoshop or any editing um image editing program and you want to create a 500 by 500 grid or 800 by 800 whatever you want um, you just want to make sure it's a square and uh, and then what you want to do is find uh, find an image of uh, your icon which you want on on the internet and preferably make it a PNG image just like one of these so you've got the white so it says white and then you've got a clear background and then what you want to do is um, load it in so I don't have one to hand to show right now but say we had a program and it was a box like that which um, had nothing on the inside and well maybe it did maybe it had like uh, ooh, what's going on here All right maybe it had uh, ooh, Maybe it, maybe it was like that. Maybe it looked like that and there was a box which happened to be there and then this was not as bright or something. I don't know. But you just want to make it like that and then also you want to have a background. Um, so you just so you also want to have the color. You, th this is better if you have an actual logo but you can create exactly how you want it. So um, it doesn't have to be um, exactly to what the, um, what the program actually looks like. Uh, I tried to make it so this desktop um, background I've got here. I tried to make all these ones which I'd like to do with my work uh, to be the same color so we've got like the green which is the same as this green and then the gray which is the same as this gray and similarly we've got the same thing going on here so we've got orange which is the same the blue is similar and um, purple they didn't have purple but premiere when you use it, it is purple so we've got that and then um, what you want to do is just save each of these as a PNG to a folder where you can easily access them and then um, once you have done that so um, once you've made each and every one of your icons you don't have to there isn't a certain amount you have to make you just want to make them and make sure they're in a folder which is easy to get to by hand and then you just want to go to your documents um scroll down until you see rain meter it should be there and uh and then um, you might not have a folder called skins, um, if you don't just make one, call it skins like I've got it here. If you do, then just double click it and in here you'll see um, there might be nothing, there might be a few folders, I don't know. But you want to make a new folder and uh, call it like icons or, or, or just anything you want. But um, make sure it's easy to um, find if there's loads of different folders because um, this is the one which you're going to keep putting everything in. So once you do, uh, once you have in fact um, made this folder, you just want to go on into it and uh, you won't have any of this in it obviously. But you want to make um, a folder to start off with called it at resources just like I've got it here so just um, copy that down if you want now and then um, double uh, just double click on it so you go into it and then um, within this folder you want to create another one called images now I have this um, play and work um, folders because uh, I made these images first for the play stuff and then I went on into the work folder and I made the stuff for the work but um and once you do have that then like uh, just make your images folder make sure you call it images like that and uh, then you have then you want to put all your different icons which you've made um just these make sure they're png images so you can just open them up and uh, you can like look at all of them and uh, make sure they're all in there and they should also all be the same size that is a key point as well so once you've done that you're like um you've done one of the harder tasks i would say because making all the images can be um quite tedious but um once you have done that you want to now make a folder for each of your um icons which you're going to be using so this again can be quite long but what I would recommend doing is um, not actually making all the folders at the start, just make one folder for one of your programs. So let's um, say it was After Effects we were doing. You want to make the After Effects folder and then um, 
Inside the After Effects folder, you want to make a, a text file and then save it as a configuration file. And um, then within the configuration file, um, wait, let me just quickly have a look at the uh, file output for this because um, I have forgotten the name. But if we just go on and save this, it's a .ini file. So make sure you save um, save it in, uh, so let me just show you actually, it'll be easier this way. So you just want to right click and uh, create a new text document and uh, call it whatever the program is going to be called. So I don't know, like hello, well, you don't actually have to call it what it's going to be called, but within hello, you just want to, um, we'll, we'll, I'll show you what to type later, but say this is what was typed. You then um, want to do file, save as, and uh, set or as all files and then when it says .txt you just want to save as a .ini and then that will save it as a configuration file but um, you just want to have one in this folder so um, once you have done that then um, within your folder this is well, within the text file this is what you want to have so to start off top line this is just saying w what's going on in the um in the text file just for or this is just for me to understand the meter it's image because these are all images the image name now this um it, make sure you get this exactly right you want to make sure you've got um hashtag at hashtag images slash and then you want to put the um n the name which you uh, named your image in this folder so here we can see it's called after after dot png bing bang boom we are done and um that is how you get the after image now um, h equals 90 this is basically the size so um if we did have uh, like a hundred then the size will be bigger this is all personal preference so um make it make it just how how you want and see how it goes left mouse up actually um I'll leave actually I'll leave all of this um, code within the description so you can see but I'll just quickly explain it now so uh, left up action this is basically where, what's going to be opening so um here we've got the actual after effects.exe file make sure when it's programmed it's the .exe file and when it's folders for instance this YouTube folder um, whoops what am I doing here when it's this YouTube folder we have just d slash YouTube so it will just open that folder it's not an extension or anything it's just the folder uh, tip, tool tip text if you have this then when you hover over the um, thing it'll say like what it is so after effects YouTube folder DX Tory etc etc and then this is just uh, the update for the rain meter so um, that is all good like I said I'll leave that in the description you guys can use it so when you do have all of those um, and done that that will take a really long time trust me it's it's quite it's quite boring but if you just listen to some music get it done uh, you can get it done um, fairly quickly uh, you will now have this uh, folder within your um, rain meter program so what you want to do is if you don't just click refresh all and then you'll get it and um, let me just put this to the front um, you just want to click the drop down arrow and you'll see all your different programs and uh, then you can just open it up by clicking the um, clicking the configuration file and uh, if we say we didn't have it we would it would say load here you click load and then it'll put it in somewhere like in the corner now to get it all in line this can take some time but you want to use these coordinates and make sure that for each of them so say um, Photoshop we have it here um, we've got 602 and um, we've also got 602 here so they're on the same um, row and uh, here there's the gap I've left in between each one is something I think it's like a hundred and um, 110 I've got 110 gap with each within each of them so it's not the gap just this little gap here it's the gap from the start of it to the start of the next one so um all of that you could um configure change around for yourself see which is fitting best for your um, background and um, then once you've done all that you just want to unclick draggable unclick uh, click through so then you're able to click on it but you're not able to drag it so um, I can't be dragging these about and moving them because that would be really annoying but I am able to click it and load up whatever I want to load up and uh, that is about it really because um, yeah there's nothing more to say on how to do it that, that, that's all you need to know and then once you've done that you'll get them all here and then you can just click it away and uh, bing bang boom you'll be opening stuff on the daily and it is much more fun than I'm um, having normal icons because those you they, they just look uh, boring and yeah, everyone's got them so uh, you you want to get something cool and uh, you can actually do that but anyway guys I've been Rahul hopefully you have enjoyed this video and as always catch you in the next one